This morning, a viewer asked a question. The viewer was GTE MMA 11, uh, requesting how we can send notifications through email from our computer so we can get notifications on what's going on on our computer when we're away from them. I've done this in the past with a few different things a program called Mail Send, which usually isn't in the repositories, different than Send Mail, which I have not really used. Uh, but today, uh, I decided to look up different ways of doing it and so I could learn something new. And there's an application called SS. MTP. So we're going to install that. You'll do sudo aptitude install ssmtp and you'd hit enter. It would ask for your password and all that stuff. I already have it installed, um, but go ahead and install that if you don't have it installed. Once it is installed, we're going to edit the config file. You will we'll need either sudo or root privileges. So we're going to do sudo nano and the file is saved under etc ssmtp forward slash ssmtp dot config. Now, I'm not going to actually edit that file right now because I already have my personal information in there. Um, so that is the name of the file. I'm just going to put a 2 at the end here to open up a blank file. Now, when you do go into the actual config file, there is a lot of stuff, default stuff already in there. Almost all of it's commented out. You can actually delete everything that is inside that file. And we're going to type in what we're going to type in now. And the example I'm giving, we're going to be using Gmail as our server just because uh, I have a Gmail account and, and uh, a lot of people do. So what we're going to type is root equals and you'll put in your email address uh, blah 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 at gmail.com but your actual email address and we'll do mail hub equals and this is the address to the Google Mail server we're going to say smtp.gmail.com oh. And then colon, and we're going to put the port, the port number, which is 587. The next line, and I don't know if this is case sensitive, I haven't really tested it out yet, uh, but just type it as I do, just to be sure. Capital A, off, capital U, zer, and we're going to hit equals, and once again, we're just going to put in your Gmail address, so it would be whatever your Gmail address is, right there. Uh, and next, we're going to put in auth pass. Once again, capital A, capital P. I'm not 100% sure if that makes a difference, but just to be sure, do it that way for now. And uh, this is where you type in your password. Now, it will save your password unencrypted. This is also why I'm not showing you my actual config file, because I don't want you to see my password. Um, but you would type in whatever your password is right there. And then the last line is capital U for use, S-T-A-R-T-T-L-S equals yes. And you would save that file and then once that is saved, and once again, it's that without the two at the end, um, we can now type in our SSMTP and who we want to mail to, I'll say uh, See, I don't want to accidentally send a mail to a real person. We'll send it to metalx1000 at yahoo.com. That's my junk mail account. I hope you guys don't start spamming me. Okay. Uh, so we'll type that in and we'll hit enter. At this point, it brings you down to the next line and it doesn't really give you any prompts. Uh, but what you actually want to be typing here is basically information such as first line should be to colon and this is who you're sending to now the funny thing is you don't have to actually put in their email address again you can type something like Bob and what it will do is it will actually send the mail to the Yahoo address metalx1000 at yahoo.com but when they get the email at that address if they look to the top where it says to at the top of the email it will actually say to Bob at yahoo.com so uh, next line is the from line and once again, you'll just type in your from line. Next line is the subject line. This is a test. And then we can hit enter and I'm going to type in hello world. How are you? 
doing. And when we're done, we hit Control D. Now it'll take a second, it's sending the mail, doesn't really give you any output, but we didn't get any errors. The email should be sent. Let's check my Yahoo Mail. Right there, we got a mail here. And we got, you can see right here, as I said, it says, to Bob. Uh, and then it says, hello world, uh, how are you doing? That is the email sent. Now, if we wanted to, we can uh, put that into a file and it will send the email. So we don't have to type that out each time. Basically, I would create a file. I'll just call it nanomail.txt, but you can call it whatever you'd like. I'll just paste that information in there once again. Control X to save that. And what I can do is, that same command right there, I'm going to do a uh, less than sign, and then the name of the file containing that information. If I hit enter now, no errors, hopefully, here in a second. And if I was checking my email again, I'd have that message in there. So basically, if you wanted to uh, send information from log files or something, um, I suppose there's a different couple different ways you can do this. But the way I would do it is I would create a file called text, uh, whatever, and this will be your header. And I would just remove everything below here and I change the subject to whatever it's about, log update. And to and from, we'll keep that the same because you're always gonna be getting your, your updates to the same place. And then, let's say I just wanted to, uh, we'll say date, we'll say that the date is uh, log. So that's, that's the date. What I would do is, and once again, there's different ways you can do this. I would cat mail dot text into a temp file. I'll call it mail dot temp. And then I would say date greater than greater than. And I'm going to put that into mail dot temp. And what that does, if we cat that out, mail dot temp, is it basically create that file and our message is whatever the output was. And then we can, once again, pipe that into, we're well not pipe it, but redirect it like so. And you could put that into a script that automates that. Basically every time there's an update, boom, dump everything into that file, use SSMTP to send it to the email. So. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you have a great day. I hope you found this useful. And I hope you, that you subscribe, rate, and comment. Everyone have a great day. Talk to you guys later. Visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info for more information.